Hello everyone, Ronan back. We're going to be doing a little movie reaction today. But I, at this moment, I don't know which movie we're going to do. Uh, so I've gotten a lot of requests for movies and I've thrown everything uh, into this wheel here. And there may have been like a nitpick for you that didn't make it onto the list simply because uh, there wasn't a way to, to stream it or anything. Uh, or to find a service that had it. It's uh, this list here is a bit of a mix between movies I've never seen before and movies that I haven't seen for probably 15 plus years, something like that. So probably not since the movies came out. I haven't seen some of these, but, uh, but there's definitely a pretty good chunk of stuff in there that I've never seen. And I didn't really know what to pick, so I, decided to do the, uh, the the wheel of names here. If any of you wanna suggest some movies, uh, they'll eventually end up in here. And just to let you guys know, I do have a Patreon in which I do have a tier in which you can actually request a movie directly, and that will actually put you at the front of the line in regards to me doing a movie reaction. I'll be referring to this wheel here. Let's just see what we're gonna do. Five, four, three, two, one. I guess I'll do a countdown. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're doing Twister. All right. Um, I haven't seen that since the, that movie came out in theaters. Uh, I do remember watching it multiple times in theaters, though, because it was the shit, and it I, it made me want to be a storm chaser. I remember. Okay, let's uh, let's go get it. Is he drinking coffee at a time like this? <laughs> I don't know. I I lived in in Nashville for about four or five years, and we I had to sit through some tornado watches, warnings sirens, things like that. And the last thing on my mind was to drink coffee. I don't really need to be jacked with uh, with caffeine while I'm waiting for a tornado to, to touch down and see where it shows up. That would be scary though. I still, even though Nashville was hit a few times with tornadoes while I lived there, I still have actually never seen a tornado. Let the dog in there. I, th I think they would be okay without the door. It wouldn't be pleasant with the door flying off, but they could, I think, tuck themselves deeper in into there and... He must have really loved that door. Look at that satellite looking real as fuck. <laughs> Wait, that's... Are they really trying to pass that off as Earth? Like for a second, I thought that was supposed to be like a, a commercial within the movie or something. They took their shot at showing us a real satellite and real Earth, huh? You know, if these cells keep building like this, there could be a record outbreak of tornadoes. This is gonna be a long day. So much coffee in this movie already. Oh wait, that was tea actually. However, that could be caffeinated too, so. Get crop dusted, bitch. I might make fun of some things here and there, but I do love this movie. I remember loving this movie. I'm still think it's, I still think it's gonna be a great movie. Bill Paxton, man, that sucks to hear that he passed away whenever it happened. He was in so many movies that I love. Yep, and there's Philip. We lost him too. It's so fun watching older movies and seeing all these actors and stuff like that and seeing like, yeah, because I mean, Philip Seymour Hoffman, he's such a great actor. And to think that he, he was the comedic relief in Twister is such like a fun idea to, to think about, but just a bummer. Man, Joe's gonna wig when she sees he's back. I'm not back. Oh yeah, I remember. I'm not back. So Joe, about the divorce papers. Hey Joe, you got a second? Oops. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. 
Oh, you want the papers? That's the urgent urgency. Act like you're getting married, ma'am. Oh. And even if he wasn't, you know. What are you doing? Can I read it first? No. It's the same as it was in December. I didn't read it in December. <laughs> she is being a little ridiculous. I mean, ultimately, they're made for each other, so I, you know, I get it. I, I thought you'd be coming out here alone. I wasn't expecting on coming out here at all. You said you'd it's meet me. It's about Dorothy. She's here. Oh my God! This thing's gonna put us on the map. We built four of them. We built four Dorothys, one for each act of the film. It's gonna be good. I do love how the movie does a great job at making this Little seem like it's man. it's so fun to be on this team. Everybody has like different personalities and they're all quirky and they uh, they, all, they all have their their little shtick. It's an instrument pack for studying tornadoes. First one in history. We could design an advanced warning system. If we can get this new information, we can increase warning time to 15 minutes. We're we're at that point now, I think. That's what it felt like at least in Nashville, like we already had like a pretty good heads up. You get sirens, like everybody knows when it's going down because it's they're fairly constant in Nashville. Jonas, son of a bitch. Who is that, honey? Jonas Miller, he's a night crawler. Oof. That's pretty fucked up. Like he had plenty of room to to pass. They're just being dicks. Bill? Why didn't you tell me? Bill, don't! Uh, what? What will soon be the center for all study. Hey, hey, hey. Stupid hat wearing motherfucker. <laughs> this baby has satellite com link. We got onboard pulse Doppler. We got next rad real time. I don't know what any of that is, but it sounds nice. I really enjoy your weather reports. <laughs> <laughs> you slime! I'm not doing you yet. Come on, come here. <laughs> Living in uh, Tennessee, we had like a really high tree line. You would think that you'd be able to see a tornado if it was coming, but honestly, where I lived, I really feel like I wouldn't know a tornado was coming unless it was like a block up the road or something. You really couldn't see anything above the tree line or anything, so it was pretty important for us to be getting these warnings. Because Bill's a tornado whisperer. It's gonna lick the dirt, taste the air. You're still in love with him, aren't you? I just hope this isn't some desperate attempt to keep him in your life. She's a psychiatrist, right? So not that she's not making it obvious or anything, but yeah, she could probably read her pretty easily. Going green. Greenwich. Saddle up. You got it, boss. Greenwich. <laughs> See, everybody on the team is so fun. <laughs> just like watching this as a kid, it, they just made it look so fun and it made you want to be a storm catcher. It's like, this is what it's like. I want to be one. I mean, I'm sure it's a job like any other and it's got its ups and downs. Maybe this is part of the ups. Amazing coloring there, isn't it? Yeah, look at those bombardas. But those tops have got to be spiking about 40,000. At least 40,000. I think they're spiking. She does not work at the station. She's, uh... She's a therapist. Yours? Christ. What? You couldn't resist, I'm could not saying you? <laughs> Just gaslighting the shit out of him. Somebody should warn her about your temper. Joe, I swear well, she, you don't... I actually was about to mention something like that when he went after that other guy for stealing his design and like almost fighting him in the street. But I was just wondering if uh, <clears throat> we were going to chase this tornado or if you just want to catch the next one. Shit! <laughs> I still remember being in the theater watching this and seeing that that tornado for the first time. We're just like, oh my god! Look at the special effects. Two miles now, picking up speed. Bill, sometime this week would be good. <laughs> to get out. Surely, there's an area that can get out of that. That's the shot right there. It still looks badass. That was done so well. I like how whenever driving through the water there, the, the, the water misted upward and then it went out to the side like it was being sucked up to. I like some of those little details there. Like even if the special effects are somewhat like dated, uh, there's still a lot of really great ideas in there, I think. 
Not that I know what the fuck I'm talking about, but... I was gonna say, like, surely they would have gotten sucked up by that, but it did kind of, like, die out, like, right on top of them. So maybe that's why I didn't, like, really grab them, but... I mean, they were pulling boards out of the wood and everything. Where's my truck? <laughs> it's a very pretty truck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else are you gonna do? You have an entire truck that's not doing anything. I want to see them take a crack at it. There's your pal. Fuck you. <laughs> it's gonna shift its track. Are you sure? Oh yeah, it's definitely a sidewinder. Ah, sidewinder. Hmm. Very rare. Is that even possible for for someone that knows their shit to just look at a tornado and be able to to tell something like that? I do actually have legitimate questions on the validity on some of this stuff. Yes, let's bring my future wife, who knows nothing of this stuff, with us into this tornado. Yeah, horizontal rain. Hang on. Oh man, horizontal rain. That's terrible. It's the most dangerous kind of rain there is. Bill, we're in the core. You're in the core. What does that mean? Oh God. Oh. <laughs> An entire fucking cow is being thrown around between these two two tornadoes and this truck is just going through like like there's nothing going on. Look out. That'd be pretty fun. I mean scary, but lucky for them they made it out alright. Oh yeah, I forgot the the soundtrack to this movie too. We got Goo, Goo Dolls, and some Van Halen. Some of us hey. couldn't help but notice how close we are to Wakita. Yeah. No. Yeah. Boom. 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 Yeah, I remember she cooked some some bomb ass. Was it breakfast they had, or was it breakfast food just during the day? In a severe lightning storm, you want to grab your ankles and stick your butt in the air. He's right, if you're gonna get hit, it's the safest orifice. Yeah. Were they talking about getting lightning struck in their asshole? Look out, look out, look out. Potatoes? Mixed gravy is famous. It's practically a food group. If you don't think that food looks good, there's something wrong with you. Like, I like how they're trying to, like, make it look disgusting to her by, like, giving it, like, these extra, like, sound effects when they drop the, the beef on there and... I was just wondering, why, why do you call Billy the extreme? Because Billy is the extreme. <laughs> Bet we see some F4 today. That'd be sweet. Is there an F5? <gasps> That's taboo. You can't just say F5. The finger of God. The finger of God. That's a pretty legendary line right there. Now, F5, I, I mean, is that like a common There's thing now? Or I mean, not common, but just like... Yes. We've seen them, right? You know, like it's not such a rare thing. Nice little rendition of Van Halen right here. I'm gonna have to get off of this road. Well, this is no time to guess, I'm not guessing. Just make a right turn, trust me. Do you want to drive? Just turn! I got a bad feeling, right? God! You would think they would be able to to prep this thing a little more efficiently before going in there instead of like like right now, you know. Damn, toasted. Going on. Oh, uh, I, I don't believe this. What the hell? <laughs> I like how he's like typing on the computer like if he typed a little more, he can make it come back, you know. What's hanging off of the truck? You've never seen what that thing can do, so don't talk to me about making it. You've never seen it. You've never seen it miss this house and miss that house and 
come after you. It is at least like a really interesting like character dynamic, their level of obsessions. Stop living in the past and look at what you got right in front of you. What are you saying? Me, Joe. That was his confession that still loves her too, right? That sucks for her though. Yeah, I don't know. I feel bad for her. She got drug into this. She had no business being here. Wonderful movie, The Shining. Yeah, she looks like she's having a rough time. I guess Bill's the the big idiot here. <laughs> I mean, he's the only one I can think of that's you can point the most fingers at. Looking at that paperwork now, I, I love that the, he like red taped or someone red taped all the parts where she had to sign and she still came up with the excuse of like, oh, I didn't see this. Loved ones in the Canton area, do not try to help them at this point. You'll only be more of a hindrance. Are... Yep. Oh man, this is the most unlucky group of people of all time to run into 30 tornadoes in, in an hour. <laughs> oh yeah, Bill knows. He smell it. it. Smells like a tornado. Don't, come on! She's like, I must have its power. The tornado will be mine. Damn. Not the most ideal place, but it's something. What were those rims or something? They were just kind of like, woo, like <laughs> across the air. It's pretty impressive for them to like film that and like push a car over and like try to simulate all this stuff though. No easy feat. What are you saying? I'm saying goodbye. No. I, I'm not that upset. What does that mean? At least it's ending on a good note, you know? It's like a mutual thing. She's still a pretty nice looking lady too, though. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, look at those old Pepsi cans. I don't even remember drinking out of a Pepsi can that looked like that. Must have been so long ago. That's a big motherfucker though. Well done, nice spin. How many trees is this thing gonna throw? Jesus. <laughs> that thing could be thrown anywhere, but it's gonna <laughs> get thrown at them. That would be my logic in this situation. I'd be like, you could be throwing that shit anywhere, but you're gonna throw that shit at me. Yeah, like, why wouldn't you see this as like a, a a problem that you're you're about to drive into? Oh my god! <laughs> just everybody, their jaws just at the floor. Jeez, <laughs> can you imagine those other guys? They just watch their their fearless leader just eat it. Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. That would be so nuts. I wonder what the how that was done. That seemed a lot easier to set up than whenever Bill did it earlier. Bill looked like he had a triangulate the bifolds and the and flick the flippers and 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 loop the the resyndicators she just flipped a few switches and we're good you ready 
Yep, all you have to do is just sacrifice your vehicle, which I'm sure that would suck too, whenever you tell your insurance. There it goes. Goodbye, red truck. You've served us well. No, no, just no copying. Run. All right, now we're gonna outrun a tornado on foot. Maybe, maybe not the best place to chill. Oh my God, yeah, okay. <laughs> they were just getting, they've literally had like every object known to man being thrown at them. I think the safest place would be away from them too. Surely someone has like been in a tornado and survived the ordeal. I wonder like what their description of what it is is other than windy. See, all along tornadoes were so beautiful and peaceful on the inside. They were just misunderstood. And now we have our closure that tornadoes are not bad people. Ah, this family had a metal door. That's the lesson we should have learned. Wooden doors are no good. We did it. Yeah, we did. Dorothy really flew. It was a good idea. Yeah. Just make out. That's the only thing that makes sense at this point. Hey, Joe and Bill, check out that sky. <laughs> you know what? I think we've seen enough. <laughs> it's like, well, this is now awkward. Spielberg produced this too? I didn't know that. Shit. Mark Machina. No way. I've met Mark a few times. I did not even- I didn't- I can't believe I didn't know he, he did Twister. Man, I should have talked to him about that. Alright, well, that's it. Ah, it's still a good movie. You can take a lot of things with a grain of salt with it. It's just a fun disaster movie, it's all. Yeah, there's like a handful of uh, special effects that, you know, didn't really- it, it got a bit dated. But, you know, it's whatever. It's fun. It's a fun movie, you know? And anything I made fun of, you know, I did it out of love, you know? Because I, I still think that this is a good movie and it's fun. And it makes storm chasing look really fun. But it, I mean, this movie is like a little old now. When did this movie come out? 1996. 1996. So I haven't seen it for quite a while. But yeah, I mean, there, there's some data things like special effects and maybe even the technology that involves, you know, storm chasing and, and tornadoes and things, you know, I'm, I wonder if, I don't know, like what it is we've learned since this movie came out, you know, or even if the, the concerns of this movie were even a, a prevalent thing in, in technology and, and uh, getting the warnings out and all that stuff. So, so I don't know. I don't know, like, uh, how legitimate, like, the concerns they were addressing in the movie were in like actual real life because i've not until uh you know the past five six years did i live in an area that actually had tornadoes so you know this stuff was super foreign uh to me at the time especially since i was a kid you know so i didn't really know anything about it but i also didn't live in an area that that had these weather situations we didn't have any extreme weather you know i'm in the i'm in the mountain time zone so uh, we don't really get any sort of like extreme weather really, but, um, but yeah, good movie though. It's still a good movie. I still enjoyed it. Um, as I was watching it, I feel like my childhood, uh, memories were being unlocked, you know, as, as we were watching it. Still some funny stuff in it, more funny stuff that I probably didn't think was funny back then. Um, you know, just like with the cow flying around, it's like. You know, okay, like, like, let's say the tornadoes could fling the cow around like that. You know, why are we still just driving forward while this cow is flying around and, and like nothing's happening to our car? Um, so just like some weird, you know, 
logistical things like that but um but there's still some like cool like, really cool shot things like with the first tornado with the jeep going into like the um that little trench that they were driving into like the, the way that they filmed that angle and um the special effects and everything like that still actually looks still look, it looks pretty badass um and man i i i'm actually still kind of Sur uh, surprised to find out that Mark Mancina did the the music for that. He's actually done a lot of movies that I like a lot where I, I've liked the score. Um, I only had a handful of opportunities to to tell the guy anything about it, and I I only told him like one thing. And even then, it was a project that he produced, not necessarily composed. He probably would have liked to have heard a compliment on something he composed, but. Um, Good job, uh, random wheel spinny thing that picked the movie randomly. Um, that was fun to watch. I'm glad to dove into that, and I hope you guys enjoyed the, the movie as well. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's it for me. Um, next time we do another movie, we'll spin the wheel again, and we'll see what it picks next. All right, but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.